What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jam at Full Grip Games. Today I'm going to show off a really fun deck that was suggested to us by Twitch user Horshi for our Fun Deck Thursdays Twitch stream. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Tricky Jam, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. Let's check out the deck. One of the coolest things about this deck is that it relies on the Inteleon engine. Inteleon from Sword and Shield and its Shady Dealings ability allows you to search your deck for up to two trainer cards when you evolve into Inteleon. And the busted thing about this line is that the Drizzile has a Shady Dealings ability as well, like a Shady Dealings Light. You get to search for one trainer card. So that trainer card search really helps you to explosively set up your Blastoise GX and your Blastoise. Using Blastoise's Powerful Squall, you can put Water Energy from the top of the deck into play and then announce huge Rocket Splash attacks with your Blastoise GX, who conveniently takes 30 less damage from attacks with its Solid Shell ability, making it pretty difficult for the Zacian V to take KOs on it, especially when you have your Chaotic Swell in play. And I love that the Inteleon is capable of searching out trainer cards, not just item cards. You can get your stadiums, you can get your supporters with the card as well. For more consistency, we also have Jirachi with the Stellar Wish engine in the deck. Usually you'll spend your first couple of turns using Stellar Wish and Shady Dealings to help set up your Blastoises. Once you set up a couple of Blastoises and a Blastoise GX, you are able to Powerful Squall the energy into play, Rocket Splash for huge numbers, putting the energy back into the deck, and then Powerful Squall for that energy back into play again to Rocket Splash again. It's a very fun deck to play, and it was really cool to uh, to get to play this deck suggested to us by one of our Twitch users, Horsey, on Fun Deck Thursday. We got a great community there over on Twitch, and I definitely recommend checking it out. If you're looking to build this deck yourself, make sure to check out FullGripCodes.com for instant PTCGO code delivery, or FullGripGames.com for all of the best trading card game singles. I could see revisiting the Blastoise deck, Horshi's Blastoise deck. That was fun. Cinderace, Cat Dog. I felt like I built one more thing. Let's uh let's play Horshoise and take a look at some other decks from the Discord. Yes, Horshi. Last week was kind enough to give us this very cool Blastoise deck. There's a Zapdos. Commander for Car, I got a Zapdos from Team Up deck. Yo, what is the Zapdos from Team Up deck? It's basically Zap Beasts. Modern day Zap Beasts. Madcraft has got the Reshiram and Zekrom deck, which we could try out. And uh, Chiptune. It's got a Sil Valley, Guzzlord, Mega Sableye, Tyranitar, Dark Fox thing that plays red and blue and some other sweet stuff. Alolan Vulpix has got a Weezing deck that plays Zat 2 and Blizzard Town. Fun one-hit KO deck, Alolan Vulpix says. Alolan Vulpix, how does your deck, how does that Zat 2 deck, what does Zat 2 even do? How does it take one-hit KOs? Enlighten me. And we're playing against ADP. Love it. Oh, it puts your opponent to 10 hit points left, and then you wheezing them. Okay. I can see that. Alrighty then. Excellent. That actually is a broken hand to get into, so this seems fine. I've got a Absol? Man, quit playing with me, bro. Got Absol. Um, I 
Maybe I'm just going to quick ball here. Get ourselves another Squirtle. And then what is... What is uh, little Sobble's evolution? He's got a retreat of one. Excellent. So next turn, if I get Sobble's evolution, mm -hmm. then, uh, you know, he's going to have free retreat then with the escape board. So that's fine. Stonewall says only have to flip a coin for Zatu and it's two energy. Oh, gee. <laughs> Why are you guys trying to do that to me? All right, so how do you even... So you just have to double attach to it? I thought maybe it would be a triple Excel or something like that. You just have to use Will? Oh, I see that there are three Will in this deck. Oh my goodness. So you double attach to it. You can use Will to secure the coin flip. Okay. Okay, I hear you. I hear you guys. Okay, we could, I could, you know what? Sure, I'll, I'll add it to my, all right, I'll the bull picks. Here we go. We'll uh, go ahead. It, we don't call it tier three Thursdays for nothing. So we'll, uh, I'll commit it to the copy board. All right, it's copied. It's copied to the board. We'll, uh, we'll see how, how it operates. I definitely believe that it is difficult to put it all together. That sounds about right. As I mean, that's the case usually with almost all of our tier three decks, right? Is that they got a little bit too much going on. I still have the sleep to get. I still have not played the sleep forever deck. That is true. I generally prefer attacking decks. I have to say. We're gonna research here. Got the altered creation. Seems like a pretty good hand to get into. So got the Blastoise. So. Ditto going down seems good. Got Drizzile here. We got Blastoise already. So we want like. So I can spring into Blastoise, start accelerating some energy. Just another Squirtle, probably. Is it going to be the best thing that I can get? Because we're, like, really not going in this turn. I mean, I could go in with, like, a Volcanium Prism Star, I guess, if I wanted to. We got rare candy into Blastoise, so we can just start trying to get some energy into play. I think that we're going to be offering up the Jirachi this turn. That seems correct. Like, we're not attacking this turn. We're trying to really get it going next turn, I think. But at that point, it might be too late. But, you know, we're going to... That's That's just how it goes against ADP, right? Quick ball, thin our deck. Get ourselves another Squirtle. Um, Stellar Wish. Sure, get ourselves another Quick Ball. I'm gonna save all the rare candies and stuff for the other side, and then we're gonna powerful Squall. Squall for one, sure. And put the energy onto the Squirtle. Other Squirtle down. Energy on Squirtle. Pass. And then next turn, we could get a big attack going. That's for sure. We're going to lose two prizes, which is a little bit hectic. But we have our board set up. I mean, that's really as much as we can ask for playing this deck, right? Uh, we've got our Drizzile, can evolve into Inteleon. We've got Ditto, can evolve into another Drizzile. Uh, at least one of these Blastoises in play with the Powerful Squall. We've got a couple Squirtles, you know, Jirachi in the active. We went second against this deck. If I think if we had gone first against this deck, we would have a real shot of being able to win. 
but they don't actually have a Zacian to accelerate to. That's crazy. This hand must be so bad. So we actually have a real shot to win the game. Because they have to ultimate ray to nothing. Like, who are they going to... What, Jirachi? They're going to put energy on Jirachi? Like, no, they can't put energy on anybody. Okay. So... A real chance to win the game. Get another Jirachi. Research. Okay. Got Swell. Got Rare Candy into Blastoise. Got Inteleon, so we can go get Inteleon, right? Yeah. Sick. So we got that. We're going to go into Inteleon, and Inteleon... This is sick. This is so cool. All right, we're going to Shady Dealings. Yeah. And I've already got Rare Candy into this Blastoise, but I want Rare Candy into my other Blastoise as well. So we're getting both of those. And there's six water left in my deck. And we're going to see how many of those we can hit. So we've got Rare Candy into Blastoise GX. Oh, I, I got two of these. I needed to get like a switch or something, but that's fine. Um, and then uh, I can get my other Blastoise. Oh, well, it's actually fine, because I can actually just go here, and we're going to thin this guy out of the deck. So that's actually not even a misplay. There we go. Excellent. So then we get to go here. So it was actually the pro play, because we get to thin our deck even more. And then, uh, could the Ordinary Rod, I could, like, you know, put one more energy back into my deck, which actually could make a difference. So I think I'll grab that. And we're going to put the energy in. That's all we want. And we got Rare Candy into this Blastoise too. All right, y'all, you ready to party? See how many energy we got? Two, seven energy in deck. Bro, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> all right, okay, there we go. That's a pretty good hit there. Three energy. What? Three times six? I mean, that's a knockout right there. My opponent's giving me the well play. Three more? What, bro? <laughs> what? <laughs> Insane deck. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Yo. Okay. And uh, we'll give him the old rocket splash. We're going to get rid of one, two, three, six times six. I can only need to get rid of five. Four, five. Yeah. Six times five, 300. Yup, that'll do. Yup, goodbye. <laughs> That's an insane deck right there. Oh my gosh, Blastoise GX just taking him out. This is turn three, right? That's like a pretty good turn three, chat. We've got both Blastoises set up, squalling out here. Blastoise GX in the active, Chaotic Swell, one Inteleon, one Drizzile, Jirachi on the bench, literally the just uh, uh <laughs> this is it this is the perfect setup this is uh everything we could have possibly wanted insane deck wow yeah valero this is the horse choice deck i mean i have not seen it uh i haven't seen it pop off like this yet this was for sure <laughs> for sure the best results i've ever seen from it it's a ton of fun uh, the Inteleon line is brilliant with it as well. Works really good. And uh, all I have to do is get just the Great Catcher. I can win the game if I just find Great Catcher. And if we just had our out to get Inteleon, we could just go get that. So I really do like that. Inteleon also acts as a backup attacker as well with the Shady uh, or the Aqua Bullet or whatever as well. Could do 120 damage, Snipe 20, so... That, uh, gotta say, that feels great. Now, I'm getting Marnied here. Totally fine, because that hand was not great. And, uh, we just get 
a way to evolve the Drizzile, we end up winning the game. Uh, smack him with a smiley face. See, don't give up. Don't give up. This is a good game. We want to show this one off on YouTube for sure. We want the Blastoise deck to just, you know, we're going to show off Horse Toys on YouTube for sure. This one's getting cut up into a YouTube video. Absolutely, chat. This, you know, when, every, when the stars all align, you know, people love to see ADP get beaten by random things, especially Blastoise. What's not to love about that? Blastoise is like the best Gen 1 starter by far. And uh, I got to say, there was the... I felt like there was like, yeah, the Mewtwo Blastoise deck. That was something we tried for a little while, a couple formats ago. And the the YouTube Blast, or that, that Blastoise deck uh, was fun in its own way, too. Uh, at this point, we just need Great Catcher to win the game. I think that we're going to Cynthia for it, certainly. I think we want to thin the deck as much as we could. We need to get five energy into play. So, so long as I can squall for one of them, we should be able to find... Instead, we're just... Oh, my gosh. We're just smacking those three. Oh, my goodness. Insane. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to put them here, I guess. I'm going to put one. The other energies should go on to... I feel like they're safest on the Blastoise. However, this thing is uh, it's 270. If they get Shrine, I think they still hit through it, right? I feel like they're safest on the Blastoise. Everything else can get gusted and, and KO'd. I will, you know, save face a little bit and we'll put, you know, like uh, an energy onto Inteleon, I guess. And then... You want to thin? I'm just looking for Great Catcher for game. I guess we thin by going one more powerful Squall. There's the Great Catcher that I need to win right there. Uh, I feel like we don't switch into Jirachi because then, you know, I have to find another switch. So we're just going to Cynthia and dig for it. And we have it right here. We've got Inteleon. Inteleon gets to evolve, use its shady dealings, get the Great Catcher. And we just bring that ADP right on out. And I've got seven energy for you right here with my Blastoise Rocket Splash. Absolutely insane. And we get to send all these energies back to the deck. Yo, let's go, chat. <laughs> that is nuts. 420 damage with Rocket Splash. That was just, what, turn three, turn four? Was that turn three, turn four? No way. That was, I think, the strongest performance I think I've ever seen from this deck. We got to show off that list. This is uh, Horshi. One of our viewers suggested the deck in the Discord, so uh, in the Twitch sub Discord. So we're going to go ahead and show off that uh, Horsh Doyce list real quick and standard. And that was, a, that was an amazing display for sure. So shout out to Horshi for that, uh, that deck suggestion. Let's go ahead and check out that. That deck, wow, only 10 energy in the deck, doesn't matter. Consistent is all get out. We've got four Cynthia, three Research, and the thick Blastoise line, Blastoise GX, just rocket splash for huge numbers, back-to-back -back turns. The Blastoise is powerful squall, hitting huge energy gains there. Wow, I mean, we hit every single powerful squall, we hit like three energy. That was nuts. There's only 10. There's only 10 in the deck. But uh, the Evolution Incense and the Inteleon engine uh, really worked some wonders as well. And as we saw, we got that uh, game-winning play with that. So what a fun deck to play. And, uh, I mean, that was just an amazing performance there from that deck. So...